With still no word from the North Korean government, China's Long Dan again urged all sides to come to the bar. We have now a late response by Admiral Toshiro Otomo of the Japanese ISDF. Despite the ambassador's efforts, nothing has changed. The Japanese people must continue to endure harassment and humiliation. We eagerly anticipate the arrival of the... Hey, I hear you're leaving us. Heading back for Panama? Hate to eat and run, sir. We have a few loose ends to tie off before we can rejoin you. Well, you can make it back for the 4th of July. I'll show you one heck of a good time, boy. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Fisher, the arms that Lacerda had were purchased by someone using a Panamanian offshore bank as proxy. I want to take a peek inside their records. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as that. This op can't look like a U.S. intelligence gig, so to cover it up, you'll need to crack the bank's vault and lift some bearer bonds. Property of the French government. I hit the bank's servers last night, but I didn't find much. All their workstations run drivers for plug-and-play hard drives. I'm guessing they secure them physically every night. Crazy world we live in where electronic intrusion is more of a threat than physical intrusion. Anyway, they probably store the drives in the main vault, meaning they're not going to be easy to get a hold of. First, the good news. You've been in this bank before. You were part of a CIA raiding team that went in in 89 looking for some of Noriega's drug money. Most of the intelligence we have on the bank actually comes from your team. The bad news is that we have a lot of physical security. Lasers, motion sensors, locked doors, cameras, the whole lot. And none of it was there in 89. We've also contacted a, a specialist to help crack the vault. You better talk to him. Look, I don't know who you are or why I'm helping you, other than it's better than staring at the ceiling of Marcel. I hear you have to face some Mason Wells 88. Well, it ain't a one-man job, but they tell me you can do the work of five men. Fine, I says. I had your mate Willie make a little deposit for you. You'll be needing some things from a safety deposit box in the little vault that we can use to crack the main one. We'll continue on our course for the Yellow Sea and send you back by helicopter to Panama City. I have no authorization to act inside Panamanian borders, so you'll be operating covertly out of the embassy. You and your partner will be on your own in Panama. Hey, Emilio, did you see these new motion sensing lights? No. What do they do? When they detect movement, the light turns on. That's... that's amazing. Like magic. I think I'm going to get one of those from my garage. Imagine that. You pull up in your car and the driveway lights up automatically. Ha! <laughs> You're crazy. This is high-tech stuff, Emilio. It probably costs thousands of dollars. Mm. You're probably right. I could never afford it. Fisher, I just synced your offset with intelligence on the bank that you and your team gathered back in 89. Ah, uh, the memories. Yeah. Judging from your report, sounds like it was quite a vacation. It was, actually. I spent most of the rest of that year sleeping in a ditch on the road between Baghdad and Kuwait. Oh, well. If it's any consolation, I had a bad year that year, too. What? You weren't working for the government during the Gulf War? No. I was in 10th grade. Oh. Right. Yuck.
Fisher, I've got a copy of a work order here that the bank filed with their insurance company. It says the dome windows over the lobby are magnetically locked. See if you can find a breaker or junction box up here and power down the locks. Right. Good work, Sam. That shut down the magnetic locks on the windows. Hey, wait a minute. Power spike. The lobby. It looks like a laser grid just came online. Lasers? Lasers are so... 90s? I was gonna say 70s. Can you please stop making me feel old? Got bad news for you, Sam. You are old. Fisher, here's our advisor. He'll walk you through the steps that'll get you into that vault. Be patient with him. Oh, he's one of those. Right. Hello? Is this thing on, then? It's on. I'm here. Have you been briefed? Whatever. Listen, this is the Mason Wells 88. Each one is unique. You want to get a butcher's up this girl's skirt. First thing you need to do is authorize an opening. How do I do that? The bank president and the treasurer will each have an authorization lock in their office. There'll be another one in the security office. You'll need to disable all three. Okay. One maintains an overnight float of... of a thousand Balboas! I'm not interested in petty cash. You'll never crack the main vault. It's impregnable. Then you won't mind if I try. No, no of course. You're the boss. Whatever you say. What can you do to help me? The retinal scanner here. I can unlock it. That's very kind of you. I wish you luck with the vault. Fix that, Paco. This is broken. The other is dirty. Always slaving for you, cleaning up after you. Always taking care of you so you can do your work. Hello, Paco. Ah, who are you? What do you want? I wanted to thank you for fixing the keypad on that door. Yeah, yeah, that's Paco. 
always doing the dirty work. You want to tell me the door code now? Sure, why not? It's 8645. You want me to write it down? No, that's okay. 8645. <laughs> In sports, pitcher Akira Watanabe. Oh no, Zerkezi. That's exactly what I didn't want to see. Zerkezi, is that some kind of dried meat? He's probably the best computational theorist in the world. He worked with Morgan Holt on Project Watson. Where it is, he's gone off his nut. Sounds like bad guy material to me. about I've been working here for two years prove it prove it uh, okay well the key code to the back doors it hey wait a minute you're trying to trick me you're the one who's not supposed to be here all right you caught me I surrender oh wait instead how about you tell me the key code anyway and I won't be forced to hurt you oh well since you put it that way the code is 3901. Thanks. How can I get a different shift? You almost tricked me, but I'm too smart.
Tahoe. Hey, oh! I'm not Tahoe. I... who... oh! Oh no! Stay calm. Tell me something interesting. The security cameras. The system is centralized. There's a main camera room. You, you can access the cameras from there. Where? Second floor! I can't think of anything else. What's the deal with the light? Someone hacked this. Looks like more lasers ahead, Sam. This whole place is singing with photons. There's a guard who seems to be walking around here, no problem. Maybe he has some kind of beacon. Get close and you can stay in his electronic shadow. That's a neat trick you do with the lasers. Okay? What? Oh, uh, the grids. They detect some kind of signal emitted by a transmitter stitched into my uniform. Give me the transmitter. I don't know where it is. I swear. It's just stitched into my uniform somewhere. Mm. That's bad news for you. Because I still need to get past the lasers. And since I don't want to undress you, that means I have to take your body. My body? You... you mean my unconscious body? I hope... Either way works for me. What's going on down there? Thank you. 
Good thinking, Fisher. Now, even if you're caught on camera, they won't be able to ID you. Back to security authorization. Two more to go. Chinese ambassador. That's two down. Now just authorize from the Treasury's office. That's authorization done. The outer cage to the vault should be opening as we speak. Great. Just inside the cage, there's a small vault full of safety boxes. Your mate dropped off some kit for you in one of them. All right, I'll let you know when I'm there. Sam, it's Will. Turtle said one of these boxes had some equipment in it. Chest level, right hand side, number 1024. Careful with that gear. What is all this stuff? Charges are for the vault, and the other thing in me, Bob, is a telemetric lockpick. A telemetric lockpick? Head down to the main vault. We'll walk you through it there. That's what the telemetric pick is for. Exactly. It reads your movements in one lock and mimics them in the other lock, real time. You guys use some cool toys. Right. Now once you get the feel for each pin, you have to wait a second for the telemetric pick to sync up. Once it beats, Bob's your uncle, you can pick the pin and move to the next one. Don't try and pick a pin before you're in sync, or you'll have to restart. Right. Come on. Three. Come on. Three. All right. Now place the charges 
over the main pin. Once they're all in place, well, I'm sure you can figure it out. outside several Morsk. I remember. And it's confirmed. So this is someone with access to some seriously classified information. Zerkezi? That's a frightening possibility. Good job, Fisher. Now the whole mission will look like a robbery. They'll never know why we were here. Lambert. Now that I'm holding 50 million bucks, I think we need to talk about that raise again. Mm. 25 cents an hour and not a penny more. Deal. same location you were inserted. Over the wall from the front courtyard? That's right. Redding will be waiting for you nearby. On my way. Mm -hmm. 